Ooh, yes. Okay, we are getting a lot of copper. I think with this we are going to have enough, but uh, I will continue doing this um, in all of the, um, the extension of the game. Hi -oi. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Boundless Tutorials and Gameplay. Yes, this is another episode on this awesome series. Thanks so much, guys. I want to say thanks to all the um, the viewers and the comments. In the first uh, episode, episode two is about to go out uh, while I'm recording this one. But um, I'm going to just send some feedback and, and, and say thanks to Blood Raven, to DB, to Marcus, to Lancelot for all your uh, nice comments over there. And um, give you some feedback. Marcus actually mentioned some stuff that he really has a point over there basically um when you start uh i was kind of paying attention a lot to the um to the tutorial uh and that's basically what you want to do but a good tip is also to pay attention and to get a lot more of wood when you start because basically most of your tools are going to be uh, made from wood you are going to be uh, making a lot of stuff with wood so when you start it's uh, it, it's a good idea to um, to pay attention to that while you are uh, picking up some of the trees and leaves basically uh, start stockpiling some of that wood and I didn't mention that on my first episode so I wanted to make the um, kind of the correction now and and while, while we are doing this feedback and also another stuff that it's that it's it's uh, good to do and Marcus suggested this is a pretty nice uh, setting to make like a hidey hole uh, a cave type of uh, of home basically and uh, we might be doing that I also um, I already plotted this area around here but uh, we might we might change that we might change that and today we are going to go doing some mining to uh, because I want, let's just go into into first person over here. I want to do a lot of stuff in today's episode. So basically, thanks are done, feedback is done. Uh, we are going to do some of this. We are going to be crafting some torches. We are going to go down, maybe explore that cave or finding another one. I don't know if that's a suitable cave, but we need to now go into another age. We need better tools. We need to actually craft a grapple and for doing the the grapple we will need several things several things um this is a good idea so when you start this game this this can be pretty pretty daunting and overwhelming as i said but let's just go into the uh, knowledge if you press k on your keyboard you are going to go to the uh, knowledge base um over here it's the same that pressing tab and then going to knowledge over here so if you go there um, you can see all the stuff uh, and uh, receive some resources that are in the game. So basically what you are going to be doing is uh, you can search over here. This is an awesome feature. Um, one of the great tools that you have, uh, aside from the initial ones, you see that there's no grappling uh, that can be made by from stone. But what we are going to be doing is making a copper grapple. All right. Um, it's good to kind of brawl through the knowledge base to know all the stuff that you can make, but uh, it's really, really interesting and there's a, a good way um, to know your way around and what you need to do in the game. So I mentioned that I want a copper grapple. Basically, this tool, it will allow you to uh, reach higher places. It's like a, like a self-contained rope, like a bind rope <laughs> from, from Tarzan. You can do cool things with this you, you can climb trees you can do all sort of stuff and um, to craft this you will need first tech crafting level one and also you need a workbench to craft this everything that you need to know know about how to craft things is in this in this awesome tool the knowledge base uh, you have the ingredients over here and um, as i said you can know everything that you need uh on how to craft everything so let's just take a look at this so uh, i mentioned that we need a workbench so we will need to create a workbench we will need to assign uh, a point in crafting level one in order to be able to craft this and also we will need to find all this stuff copper bars sackcloth 
glue and ancient tech remnants. Ancient tech remnants, actually we got one in, in, in the first episode. We can directly mine this um, from, uh, from caves or just looking through uh, in, the, in the walls that we have uh, be, behind us. Um, the other components, the other things, the other items are glue, sackcloth and copper bars. These things need to be crafted. How do you know how to craft this? Well, you click on copper bar and the knowledge base is going to lead you how uh, to the to the knowledge item to the knowledge entry about hopper, copper bars. This is really cool. So for this you will need copper ore, and you need to heat it for thirty seconds in a furnace. All right. So we will need a furnace too, a furnace. Um, but you can see how this is this is really really great. Um, the knowledge base. If you want to go back, I don't know if there's a a, a key like um, to go back. It doesn't say over there in the um, in the commands, but you can go back here. You say you, you can see that it says used to craft, and basically the item uh, that you used to browse here from the knowledge base is going to be here, copper grapple. So you click there and you go back to the grapple. That that's the item that you were uh, looking for. All right, then sackcloth. What is sackcloth? Well, basically this is uh, a hardy cloth and it's useful. You are going to be crafting a lot of stuff from this. How do we make this? Again, you click there. You can see we need fibrous leaves and um, we need to be using an extractor. So basically we are going to be collecting fibrous leaves and then we have another machine that we need, extractors. All right, so we have workbench, extractors. What, what are all those things? Well, you go like this and you see extractor. It's a common crafting device and it's used to extract things from raw materials. What do we need? Any stones, any base metal. If you if we get copper from this, it will be nice. And then we need Asian tech remnants. So you can see that and it's crafted in the workbench. So basically we need a workbench before we do it. We do the extractor and you will see that workbench is also over here. How do we make this one again? Now we need timber here, we need also any base metal, and we need ancient tech remnants. You are starting to see a common pattern over here. This is your favorite tool in the game, the knowledge base. And since the developers made this awesome addition, the filter over here, the search input box, oh man, this saves ton, ton of time because the game didn't have that feature and you have to browse and search everything by just clicking on arrows and, and trying to find it by visually. Now it's really awesome. All right, so it seems that what we need to do is craft a furnace. So we are going to craft the furnace here. Let's just see, we can filter over there. For making a furnace, we need these two things. We need to craft a stone furnace base and then can we bulk craft? Yes, we can do five over there. Uh, we have, okay, we need four of those. We are going to craft five of this. Um, do we really need five? I'm, I'm thinking if we really need five, may maybe we do. Let's just craft five. There we are. And we are going to get this one. We are going to craft five too. We need the two components. Why am I crafting five? Well, you might think that we don't need as many. We are going to leave this there um, crafting. The other stuff that we are going to be doing is by uh, manual crafting. We are going to be crafting another um, another crafting table. What do we need for this? We need more timber. So we are going to go get timber. We are going to craft another table. The table is really useful uh, because you, not only because you are going to craft stuff, but as I said, you can actually start stocking things. We already have fibrous leaves over there. That's nice. We are going to store those, those. Uh, it's really nice to have extra storage available and uh, we will do that. We will do that. Um, all right, let me go get some more wood. I'm going to craft a few more um, crafting tables to use as a, a very, very basic initial uh, storage place. And then we are going to go out in our mining trip, guys. All right, guys, the uh, furnace are done and we are going to be crafting some um, torches now directly from here. Uh, I've searched for those. Uh, remember the flints that I mentioned in some of the other episodes? Well, here we are. We need some flints. Um, can we bulk craft this? Yes, we have enough. We are going to get look at that 20 just by bulk crafting. This. this is awesome. There we are. Cool. 
uh, contents. There we are. We have all of that. Let me get that, that, and that. And I'm going to go now. Oops, sorry. We are going to go now over here to our inventory and we are going to put this on our hand awesome so we have some light source and we can see that i've already crafted and placed three more uh crafting tables over there this is cool inside our our uh, plot remember that one cool thing is look at how is green the box that you can see now in the um, um in the floor over there but when i point some block that it's outside the area if we go good b you see that the 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 plot ends over there it goes orange right that is a good indication to know that everything that you put over there is not going to be inside your plot green is in your plot orange is not in your plot that's bad <laughs> because it's going to be decaying very fast and reclaimed by the boundless worlds the boundless gods very very soon you don't want the your stuff to go away you you want to everything be inside um your your beacon all right let me organize the inventory a little bit into this um place i oh, know let's just let's just place the um, uh let's just place here the uh i perceive while looking at the uh at the beacon over there all right let's just place uh this this two guys over here let's just place the furnace and we can see um what we do with them uh let's just place them uh one two three and now we can go to this one two three let's just place those three and uh, we don't place anything else all right so this is a nice piece of equipment if we click e over there you see we need to add some sort of heat it's a it's a valid fuel over there and then we can throw here some stuff uh, to craft. Um, there are different things uh, that you can cook in furnaces, but one of the most important are uh, the ores, basically, over there. And the other is bones and sap to create glue. I know this because I already played a little bit of this game on my own time and in the other series, as you know. But uh, basically all of that is on your on your knowledge base, as I as I mentioned, guys. All right, um, let's just see how this works with uh, with the copper ore. We, we still doesn't have um, very good fuel actually to burn. Uh, we only have wood and it's not a bad, a bad fuel, but there are others that are, are, are better. So um, we're going to place, um, let's say, a uh, trunk. Let's just put those trunks over there. This is going to give us 60 heat uh, and certain speed boost over there. And we are going to put some copper ores over there. Uh, look at this. We cannot start the... Um, the furnace over here because we are providing only 60 heat over there and the copper bar needs uh needs 100 so we're going to remove that and we are going to get let's just say all this over there this is going to provide a lot more heat all that it's enough and we are going to start the furnace all right so this is starting it's producing the heat all that and i consumed four directly over there we are going to leave this working this is going to produce um copper bars uh, for us uh, this is really really interesting and um, yeah we don't really need now to use the other ones because we don't have as many things to graft but in the future it will be awesome to have all these duplicated machines because we are going to leave a lot more things doing in in tandem in parallel over here all right let me organize the inventory as i said and then we are going into our exploration mining trip in search of more copper more ancient tech remnants and all the goodies all right guys there we are and we are going to switch in the other hand to the torch and let's just see if this is actually one of the caves Ooh, i fall fell into that this uh there's some stuff that we can already get from there before we run into a hole <laughs> we are going to get some of the ancient tech remnants over there let's just go and get this ones because we really need this stuff so there we are i'm going to get this stuff it's nice because this is going to be recreated all the time with the same thing I, I, I think that's how it works, right? I bet you guys that know more than me in the in the channel viewing this 
going to correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm thinking that maybe this is going to be um, just respawn over here with with more stuff. All right, there we are, swimming and getting some of this. Uh, it's good to maybe check if there are no more occurrences of this inside. From time to time, that happens. It's not. Um, yeah, it's not something that happens. What is pretty interesting is you go into into water and, and, and the torch continue working when you get out. <laughs> it doesn't go bad. I love that. Awesome. And uh, well, this, this torch, even though it provides some light, it's not the, the very best, as you will see further on in this series, but um, it's something. Okay. Let's just see if this is... I don't think this is very deep or... It might. No, this ends over here. All right, we will need to search for some other type of cape. Cave. Can we go here? Ooh, maybe, maybe we do. Yes, we do. Okay. Um. I don't know if I want to jump over there. Let's just leave. Um, let's just see if we can go like making a ladder over there yeah it seems so we will need to do this we will need to do like that let's see if we can go a little a little bit uh deep deeper over there well with a grapple this is one of the things that you will um be able to do better uh we will need to go over there i'm going to leave a mark um it's not recommended to navigate um, caves using torches as you usually do as a trick in uh, in Minecraft, for example. Why? Because everything gets regenerated over here. Even your torches are going to disappear, so it doesn't make much sense. Um, except for kind of the guidance that you might get um, at the very moment. But uh, other than that, you, you don't need to just spend them and leave them there. Uh, it's not a, a mark that is going to stay for stay there for for a long time all right there we are it's getting some some fossil seams to be completely honest i'm not exactly sure what are they used for but let's just get them now that we are here and you see the drill over here it's basically going in exploring the caves and getting all of the materials that you can uh, and you can uh, see around here uh so basically that you might r encounter some uh, some creatures around here, but uh, I don't think there's uh, anything um, more problematic than, than speeders, and we already dealt with them. We don't have water over here, but we have our, our friend the Slimbo, and we can do that. We can take care of them just by running away and shooting and jumping, as we did already. Um, take care that if you encounter many of them, it's going to be maybe a problem it will be able to just run so that the runs can fight in another fight i don't know if you have that saying but we have that in my country obviously in spanish not in english but uh yeah it's it's weird how there are sayings that are completely different translated <laughs> in other languages they usually have the same uh the same type of sayings but with completely different um, phrases that, that translate uh, really different the meaning is the same but not the words if you know what I mean all right I'm going to continue doing this on my own we have one of the markings one of the important markings over there let's just go one more level over here oh yes okay we are getting a lot of copper I think with this we are going to have enough but uh, I will continue doing this um, in all of the um, the extension of the cave let's just get this one and let's see you can get um you can really get lost in these caves uh the trip of navigating with your uh with your torches it's really nice um the tip that goes uh like this is i got it from from playing minecraft and one of the 
really early YouTubers in Minecraft. It's basically when you go in a cave, you start placing your torches. Uh, you choose a side, for example, to the left or to the right. Uh, this is in the middle of the of the floor, but let's just say that we enter from there, and if we go in in that direction, you just place it on the right of the cave. So basically, you put it here or here. The problem is that in in boundless, all these angle um, um, walls uh, are impossible to use for placement. But this you can, not in this one, for example, but in this one you can. So it's uh, the navigating way. It's a little bit difficult. But other than that, it's good. Uh, but as I said, it's uh, it's good to use only when um, going in and exploring the cave. Then you can just get it again. Because it doesn't make any sense. You're going to lose a resource. Obviously, these are not too costly. But um, yeah, other than that, there we are. Um, this was a, a really small cave. We are going to find another one. Uh, let me Let me see. Let's just get this one and let's assume that you got lost over here you say oops i navigated a lot i got lost inside the cave i don't know where i am maybe this maybe this is a really really cool cave let's just assume there was tons of resources over here but you got lost and uh, at some point you wish to come back to this one well we are going to use one of the most <laughs> most cool features that this game has you're going to press tab and you're going to go to the places uh, tab over there. Obviously, you have beacons, you have settlements. But one of the cool things here, locations. All right, this acts as a GPS. And what you can do, see here that you have current location. Well, you can place, you can make a click over there, and you can add this to your locations list. How cool is that? And this, you can say, cool cave filled with resources. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. We are going to do that and you have that location over there. This is going to be really, really cool if you want to teleport back in the future when you have the means to do that. Um, all the stuff. You got lost. You mark your, your place over there and you're going to come around here uh, when you teleport back to the cave. But let's just say you got lost. You don't have any ways of teleporting back. Well, you always, you always have the Sanctum. So you press Escape over there and you go to Return to the Sanctum. With this, you go back to the Sanctum. This is free. And then you have the option of opening your warp to the location where you were or uh, to the other um, places I have. You have another, another, uh, another place over there. See, this one is um, in, the, in the middle of the cave that we were. Uh, and this other one, well, we are going to activate this one, pressing E, and you are going to be able to choose either the locations that you have here or your beacon. So we are going to choose Valentine over there. We open a warp, it doesn't cost anything. And there we go. Boom, back at home. Nice trick. All right, guys, um, let me search for some more caves around here on my own. I'm going to show you where they are and uh, if we found some more stuff, because I don't think this is enough. Let's just leave, let's just see. Before we, we do that, okay, we have these six copper bars over there. Let's just put those, start the furnace, uh, and we continue uh, making some um, advance there. We also have these four ancient tech remnants, but we need to continue doing some more search. All right, guys. I was uh, walking around uh, on my own, obviously, and I found some coal. So that's how coal looks. You want to knock that, that down. Let's just do this together. Um, and we are going to get some of these frogs. Just, you know, oh, look at that. There's a, how do you call that? It's like a, a bane. That's what, what it is, a bane of coal. And we are going to get that. I'm going to go in and get all of this. This is really nice uh, improvement for fuel uh, instead of using just the wood. So we are going to get this and we are going to continue. I saw some um, uh, some some copper uh, veins also around there. Look at that. This is pretty nice. Continues. That's why you, you, you want to actually knock a few more rocks just to make sure that there's not a vein that it's uh, kind of hidden. Look at that. A level 7 reach. Awesome. I like this. 
Cool. All right. Let's see. Do we have anything else? No. And that's it. We got a pretty, pretty nice amount of, um, of coal over there. Uh, let me use the shovel, and we are going to make ourselves that. All right. And we have some copper and some of this. Okay. I'm going to get this on my own, and then I'll be back in the. Um, in the beacon, not the settlement. That's another another thing that I need to correct myself. When I started, I was mentioning beacon and settlement as um, interchangeable uh, words, and they are not. Basically, a beacon, uh, it's something that um, kind of protects your plots, but not because you have a beacon, it means that you have a settlement. You don't have a settlement yet, and we don't have a settlement yet in this in this um, gameplay and tutorials we need a little bit more prestige in order to qualify uh, for our um, settlement to for our beacon to be considered enough to become a settlement and, and have its own name there we are all right let me continue with this on my own and I'm going to meet you guys back in the beacon and plot and by the magic of editing software for you this is right now all right guys back at the sanctum coming back from a cave as you can see over there this is a cool cave that i found uh lots of coal um copper and um the uh, ancient tech remnants okay we are going to back go back to our beacon <coughs> pardon me over there all right here we are in plain daylight Ooh, nice 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 okay let me have one of these so we are full over there awesome full up perfect and um the grapple and let's just get that off uh or maybe with that perfect let's just see how we what what we have here ah let me let me show you 53 copper ores 59 soft coals and 15 ancient tech remnants that's pretty cool let's just go there and let's just try this now let's just put soft coal 40 4.9 um thousand heat over there 4900 heat all right we are going to get this let's just put there and uh, start the furnace over there perfect we will see how this goes we are going to leave it and let me now uh do we have space over here in the contents to get some stuff yes we have all right we are going to be crafting now uh the workbench so what do we need for this we need a uh, timber so we need to get timber where do we have timber obviously not in this one because if we have timber in that one not in this one neither so let me uh let me get all of the this one and um we have some some of this actually we use all the timber that we had left i think uh there's no timber there there's some some there and some there let's just let's just craft some of this and um so receipts i'm going to close here and we are going to get some timber over there all right perfect let's craft this we could have done bulk i think here no all right boom and boom there we are no more no more trunks get that and now that we have this what we want to do is again uh the workbench over here we go to the workbench and now we can craft this we are not going to go bulk with this because I actually want to save the tech remnants and the metal that we have we are going to craft this because we really don't need more than one at this stage so this is being built we are going to wait for that one all right guys there we are we have now the uh workbench ready let's just take this four pieces because the workbench actually needs those four pieces to um to recreate it you are going to see this right now let's just put it over there uh, actually not over there let me get the um, the torch back just put it here and then we have the torch there all right so we are going to see how this works how this goes we're going to put it we're going to keep it let's just put it like this so you see how it looks completely one two three and four 
And when you do that, it opens up into these four pieces. But basically, this is all one piece of machinery that needs to be all touching together the four pieces. And when you go in this one, you press E. Now you have another receipt over here. Another list of receipts over there. So you can craft the Atlas warp elements and stuff, nails, cogs, improved beacon field. This is pretty interesting. What do we need for this? Oof. All right. <laughs> Not something that we are going to do together, but this one, this one is. We need more metal and ancient tech remnants and more stones. All right, we are going to get more stones and um, then we are going to craft here the extractor and that will be the end of this episode guys let me see do we have more um it's interesting because i don't think we need we have we have uh, it's stones that we need right or it's rocks it's stones or rocks i think it's stones so this is uh extractor uh it's stone so we are going to craft stones and let me now show you one of these uh things that i said so we are going to be uh, doing metamorphic stones. Let's just craft mass. We cannot because we need the mass craft epic. Um, but yeah, we have 18. And it requires 18. Okay, let's just do this. Let's just do this because it's interesting. I, it's going to, exp to this episode span a little bit more than the 30 minutes. But let's just go into the skills. Um, now we go to our character and let's just go to skills. As you can see here, in the previous episode, we saw that we only had up to, I guess it was up to here, um, the amount of uh, skills that we can put points into. But now we have a little bit more. Why? Because we are level uh, 6 now, alright? And these are going to unlock at level 8 and then more are going to, to start appear, appearing over here. We have 10 skill uh, cleanse points over there. This is the, the this number, so we have it over there. And we have now eight um, skill points available. Uh, obviously, we can spend in the points that we, in the, the attributes and, and the other skills that we have in the, in the previous episode, but now we have opened over here the epic one. One of those epics is this one, that is called volume crafting epic. So this is going to unlock the ability to mass craft receipts in machines, and that's what we need. One of the problems with the epic ones, it requires five skill points. So, but we are going to do it. I think this is this is pretty much worth it. Now we have only three remaining there, and what I want to do is maybe adding one point over here into power. So we are going to be making more damage to creatures and blocks. Um, I like the the control bonus to. Someone is, is trying to apply, 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 let's get out. Oh. <laughs> okay. Walls. Marcus said, it's nice to have walls, free walls initially. Yes. <laughs> yes, Marcus, you're right. Those two are aggroed toward us. Okay, let me wait for these guys. Let me just deal with them. Can we deal with them from here? I don't see them though. Are they coming? They are in the water, I think, already. The other day that, that I said I don't know what that is, that it that, that it felt like like um fish swimming towards us. Actually it was the the um, uh, the bullets, the ammunition from the <laughs> from the speeders. I think they are dying. I don't see them on the shore. Do you see them on the shore? Yeah, what is that? So they are down there. And one is here. It's aggro over there. Yeah, it's it's around here. It's they are in the cave. Dying in the cave. Yeah, there we are. So we have one there. They're going to hit it because we really want that uh, that tallow, that bones, the meat. And the other one, we just leave them. Just leave it over there. Let's just not fall into into the hole, please. All right. I don't remember exactly where we were, but I think it was on the um, on the skills page. So let's just go to the skill page over there again. Awesome. And we go to the character. Let me let me get this because I might get some more uh, points. Of course, there we are. What's in this box? 
I don't know, coins, experience. That's what, what what's in the in the box. All right. Okay, character and skill points again. We have four now. Perfect. Um, I was saying I like uh, power. I like control. I already assigned those. And um, other than that, dexterity. Maybe a little bit more health. And um, agility, speed, healing potency, luck for drops. This might be good too. Obviously, we can. Um, we are not level twenty yet. We are far from that. But we can reset the skill page uh, at that moment. So the other stuff that we need it's one of the crafting techs over here. Uh, I think to unlock. So I think it, I don't know if it's machines. It's something. We are going to save those points. Um, we are going to confirm the selection of these two. And um, here, reset skill page. You see? Okay. There we are. We are going to confirm that and we are going to save those two. Uh, I was saying, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come here. Now we have mass available. Ooh, that's nice. We are going to mass craft in this table and this is going to obviously go to the queue. Four minutes for mass crafting. But in this one, we're going to go there and we are going to go to Igneous Stones and we are going to mass craft in this one. Nice. And then we are going to go into this one and then we are going to mass craft. We cannot mass craft this one, but we can bull craft. Let's just bull craft that. And how about this one? Can we do that? Mass, no, but bull craft. Let's just go there. Awesome. And in this one, we still have one. We are going to keep that one. All right. And now we are in tandem doing all this. That's nice. And the same can be achieved over here. And obviously with these machines there. Um, as this get crafted, we are going to get some stones quickly in three minutes, in three minutes. This is in 18 seconds, so it's nice. We are going to wait for those. We are going to get some and we are going to get the extractor going on. Uh, while we wait, let me show you uh, what other uh, thing we can do. We are going to knock this down. We can get it back. I don't know if there's a tool that is faster. No. There we are. We are going to get those back. You don't damage them. You just get them back. Minecraft style. There we are. This game is better than Minecraft. Stop comparing it. <laughs> it's unavoidable, right? Completely unavoidable. But yeah, I, I really think this game is completely better than Minecraft. Well, one of the things that you can do uh, is this. Properly. There we are. Boom. And you have the machine over there. And it's cool because now you save space. This is nice. Awesome. You can make um, snowmans over there. <laughs> All right. We are going to go into this one and we are going to get those 20. And I think with this, it's going to be enough. Building a crafting forest. Let's see how many objectives we are completing without even noticing this. All right. Going in there. And now we are going to select receipts and I want the extractor and now we can craft this. Oh, this is awesome, guys. Three minutes crafting time and this is working. See how, how it's vibrating over there. <laughs> I love it. All right. Um, shall we wait? I don't think so. I don't think so. This, this guys was enough for one episode. Let me, let me do it like this with the, uh, with the, um, I cannot, yeah, like that with the machine and with the planet over there awesome this is super super cool guys thanks so much for watching this episode if you are enjoying the series so far please drop me a like leave me a comment share this episode with a friend and if you you like this if you yes if you are new to this channel please subscribe it's going to really really help me a lot all right guys thanks so much we are going to catch up in the next episode bye bye Ima. <laughs>